Hi, let's fix overheating issue on the iPhone 16e. So here you can see temperature of my phone right now. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the result temperature. We are going to start by going in settings because here we need to find display and brightness tab. And of course, first thing you can do to help prevent your phone from overheating is to reduce brightness manually by dragging this slider left like that. And also, I suggest you to disable automatic brightness to be able to manually adjust it here or in control center right here. Now in the same setting, find auto lock and set it last for two minutes. So either for one minute or 30 seconds. So your phone will not stay uh, turned on for longer than needed. But I'm going to set three minutes because I'm making this tutorial. So the next thing we can do is find accessibility. And here in accessibility settings, go in motion and enable this reduce motion feature because it will help battery from draining and help your phone to prevent it from overheating. And additionally, you can turn on prefer crossfade transitions by clicking on the switcher near the feature. The next thing we can do is of course close all of the recently opened apps. For that, just swipe up from the bottom of your display till the middle like this. And now swipe your apps up to close them. So the next thing we are gonna do is we need to disable background app refresh. This feature you can find by going in general. And here it is. So right now you need to click right here and from any of those two options, switch to off. And as you can see, turning off apps may help preserve battery life and also help with overheating problem. The next thing we need to do is we need to find privacy and security tab. Here, pick location services and turn off location for not needed apps. For example, I don't need location for voice memos, so I'm gonna click here, never. And for necessary apps, you can pick this option while using the app. And save changes by going back, of course. So next thing we can do is we can delete not needed apps and make sure that we got at least 5 to 10 gigabits free storage space. You can check it if you go in general. Here, pick Eiffel storage and take a look at this bar on the top. As you can see, I got free almost 100 gigabits, which is perfect. So I don't need to delete anything, but you can find here which apps took most of the storage space. You can click them and on the bottom of the page, select to delete this app, which uses lots of storage space. Let's move on to the next thing, which is switch into optimized battery charging. For that, find battery setting. Here, go in charging and make sure to turn on optimized battery charging just so the switcher will be green. This will help to prolong battery life and prevent your phone from overheating. Also here you can temporarily disable it like that and then go in charge limit and set it to 85% or 90% so you can manually set charge limit instead of optimized battery charging or here you can keep 100% and then enable optimized option. Now let's go back 
And let's check this phone for software updates. So go in your general settings, find software update, and of course make sure that phone is updated to the latest version. If you got option like that, then select either update tonight or update now. And also you can go in automatic updates and enable this one as well. And the last thing we can do to prevent phone from overheating or to fix overheating is to simply restart the phone. So for that, we need to quickly press volume up, then volume down, and then hold side button. Ignore this part of menu, just continue holding till the screen will turn off like that. And then you should see Apple logo appears on the screen. So simply wait, wait for the phone to turn back on. So again, quickly you need to press volume up, then volume down and press and hold this side button. So let's just wait for the phone to turn back on, unlock it with the help of passcode and go back in its settings. So in general settings, if you scroll all the way down, you should see this option transfer or reset iPhone. Here I suggest you to choose reset and then select reset all settings. You would need to confirm this step with the help of your Face ID. And this way will help you to reset all of the settings, but it won't delete any of your data, so don't worry. It will just help to fix overheating issue. So, moment of truth, let's test result temperature. So, I'm gonna beep here. And yep, we just fixed overheating issue. So, that's it for today. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, like and comment. And I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.